Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the module four of electronic superimposition questions. And in this module, we have seven superimposition questions taken from the previous year and the model papers. Don't miss any of them. These are the most important ones. And before starting, please do like and subscribe. It helps make more videos like this. So without wasting more time, let's get started. The first superimposition question is the difference between the embedded system and the computing uh, general computing system. Okay. So basically, embedded system means that we whatever the devices we have, right? Whatever the device like the washing machine, AC, mobile phone, refrigerator, all those things which run by electric. electricity they have an system inside it okay because of that system uh, we are able to perform the operations which we are able to perform like for example in an ac if you want to convert the temperature from 16 degree to 20 degree that uh, operation uh, when we click on the remote what should happen that is defined in the embedded system okay the systems which control the entire device is called as embedded system okay and general computing system means it's a general computer like whatever we have a normal computer right so the normal operation which can be performed on it all those things are coming under general computing system this is for the generic use and this is for a specific use defined for that object okay so the differences bet uh, between them are these you can remember any five of them okay so first is purpose it is for a specific task this is for a general purpose task many things can be performed on a computer but for this it is dedicated for a specific task okay and it is optimized for that task often minimal it is more powerful and flexible hardware for many other different things we are using it is a real time operating system specialized for that thing and this is general purpose like windows mac and linux it is designed de designed for lower power consumption and uh, power consumption is higher here because more tasks are being performed cost is lower cost is higher because complex hardware is there and more functions are present in general computing systems and it often have the real time constraints here it does not have the constraint limited memory more memory and no ui this is having a rich user interface difficult to update or maintain easier to update and maintain and examples are microcontroller in automotive system medical devices and here desktop or computers or servers okay so application is also given here few applications are for the embedded system first is in consumer electronics like mobile phone digital cameras automotive like the engine control units and uh, abs lock anti lock braking systems airbags all those things which are present in car and third is industrial automation like the programmable logic controllers robotics medical devices like the insulin pump and blood measure monitors networking routers switches aerospace we have the flight control and navigation systems in military we have missile guided systems home automation we have the thermostat security systems lighting control in iot we have smart sensors wearable devices in transportation we have the traffic light controllers so all of these come under the embedded systems okay and the general computer system it just a normal computer pc and mobiles okay Next is write a note on the uh, embedded system core. Okay, what is the core of embedded system? And uh, with a neat diagram, I have to explain. The core of embedded system is essentially it's the processing unit from where all the things happen. Okay, and the key components inside the core are the first one is microcontroller. Okay, it consists one or more of the following units. First one is inside the core of embedded system. Okay, this is the embedded system which is present in the objects. Inside that there is a core. Inside the core there is few things. The first one is microcontroller. Microcontroller. is used for the embedded system it is a self contained integrated circuit it has the memory and the peripherals for the input output like examples include a051 avr next is the mic Microprocessor. These are more powerful processing units than MCUs. Okay, its process is to execute the uh, functions uh, required using the external memory and the peripherals. Okay, that is the second component. And third one is the digital processor (DSPs). Digital signal processor are designed for audio processing, image processing, and tele telecommunications. Next one is field programmable gate array. These are flexible hardware structures that can be configured by the user. Okay. and uh for in inside each of these we have the cpu core which is the actual uh, place where the calculations happen control unit is present and register is present and the memory includes uh, both the flash memory and the ram memory and peripherals include how to interact uh, from the from the internal world to the external world so these are nothing but the usb cables where we can plug in and uh, connect another device so those things are peripherals okay the input or devices and timers are present for the communication interfaces uh, other devices are and protocols are used like uart and analog digital converters are used digital io pins are used and external devices like sensors actuators are also used okay so all of these form a embedded system okay 
Next one is write a note on transducers. Explain one type of sensor and actuator with its operation. You have to understand what is transducer, what is sensor, what is actuator. Okay, very simple. Transducer is that which converts energy into form of uh, electrical signals. Okay, like sound, light, or heat to electrical signals. An example can be loudspeaker. Loudspeaker, what happens? It converts the electrical signals to the sound waves, right? In the loudspeaker, we will be able to hear a uh, voice, right? From where we are able to hear was from conversion of electricity to the sound form that is transducer which converts electricity to sound wave another the reverse transducer is which converts the sound wave to electricity that is nothing but a microphone in microphone we have input as the sound and the output will be uh, saved in the form of electricity right that is called as a reverse transducer both are transducers will convert one form of energy to electricity as and vice versa okay second is sensors it uh, detects some change in the uh, aspects okay like uh, distance velocity acceleration temperature pressure light and it uh, notes it down okay it can be either passive or active active generates an electricity or the current output and the passive one does not do that it just modifies it in some way okay and the sensors can also be a digital or analog it can be on or off zero and one and so on actuator is nothing but it takes an action okay whenever a change has happened it can take an action for example if in the light emitting diode if an electricity has changed light will be emitted right so that is a actuator okay which converts the actual into an action sensor will sense it actuator will do the action okay Next one question is explain how seven segment display can be used to display the data. Write a, a brief note on operation of LED. Okay, so here uh, the seven segment segment LED will be like this. Here it will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, this is just one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, how it is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, like this it will be. And in this combinations, whatever we light, we can uh, write any number here. Okay, this is a seven segment display. Okay, that's all what you have to write. Okay, about the seven segment display, this is the circuit diagram. Okay. Next is what is an embedded system and uh, explain about the brief different elements of an embedded system. Okay, so it is an uh, what is an embedded system we just discussed in the first question. It is an electronic or electromechanical system designed to perform a specific function and a combination of both hardware and firmware software. So few of the types of uh, the elements of the embedded system. Okay, how many elements are there? Few elements are there. First is we'll discuss what are the hardware elements. In hardware elements, we have the processor, which is the brain of the system, which does the operations. Okay, it can be either a microcontroller, microprocessor, or a digital signal processor, or a combination of each of these. Next is memory. Memory we have the uh, flash memory or the ROM memory or a permanently storage memory. Peripherals for uh, uh, communication with the internal and external world. Sensor the devices which detect the physical quantities and actuator which take an action based on that change. Next is software, it will have any program running in the back end and uh, operating system will also be there, real time operating systems and application software to uh, visualize all of those things which are uh, programmed that for that we'll be using an application software and communication interfaces through various protocols or like the wireless protocols like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all of these to communicate with the other devices. These things are present, five things are there, in hardware, software, real-time operating system, application software and communication interfaces. Okay. Now, what are the classification of embedded systems? You can remember any of the classification. Okay, there are many criteria in which the classification has happened. So we'll discuss few of the criteria. If we go with the generation, based on the generation, or we can go with the complexity and performance, or we can uh, do with the behavior or or the figuring. The first is the classification based on generation. There are five generation of computers. In the first generation, it was eight bit and like the digital telephone keypads. Then it became sixteen bits and the example is this the SCADA system. Systems. and third generation we have the 32 bit with uh, DSPs and application specific circuits as keys and examples are robotic and media fourth generation 64 bit with the system on chip and multi processor core and the fifth generation is the one which are the mobile phones and all okay like the smartphones with uh, advanced technology in it 
if we go with the complexity and performance small scale it can be okay it is used for simple applications like an electronic toy medium scale is used in industrial machines and large scale will be used in the mission critical applications okay it will be 32 64 risk uh, architecture okay if you go with the behavior classification will be based on two types soft time real system and hard real time system soft time real system means there can be delays in between but hard real time system cannot have any delays or it will be a very big consequences okay if you go with the triggering there can be two ones uh, two types event triggered and time triggered event with event means some if some event happens based on that some uh, action will be taken time triggered means uh, on every time limit something will happen okay that kind is called as the uh, time triggered the last one is the difference between risk and sys okay risk is reduced instruction set computing and sys is complex instruction set computing okay this is a simple one this is a complex one okay this is a simple one and this is a complex one this is related to a software and this is related to hardware okay and here it deals with the compiler and here it deals with the processor okay here it is single clock cycle here it is multiple clock cycle because it is more complex right and transistors are used for storing memory here it is used to store instructions okay and risk uses fewer instruction here it uses more instructions fewer addressing modes more addressing modes and fixed size length variable size length means this is a first version this is second version okay this is lower and this is higher like that okay we can uh, uh, do the key points for that yeah that's all for this video don't miss any of the descriptions and please do like and subscribe it has been my like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one